we're asked to list the x values where the function has discontinuity and then state the type of discontinuity. When determining the discontinuity of a rational function, the first step is to factor the numerator and denominator. If the numerator does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of negative 12 that add to negative four are negative six and positive two, giving us a factor of x minus six and a factor of x plus two. In the denominator, x squared minus four is a difference of squares. We will have two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The equal factors of four are two and two. Because we have a difference of squares, we have one factor of x minus two and one factor of x plus two. From here, we know division by zero is undefined. Notice how here we have division by zero when x minus two is equal to zero or when x plus two is equal to zero. Solving for x, we have x equals two or x equals negative two. The function has discontinuity at x equals two as well as x equals negative two because at these two x values, we have division by zero which is undefined. Let's go ahead and record the x values where the function has discontinuity. And now let's talk about the types of discontinuity. Typically we're asked to determine whether we have removable discontinuity or non-removable discontinuity. Removable discontinuity occurs at the zeros of the denominator that are also zeros of the numerator, meaning we would have to have a common factor between the numerator and denominator. Notice here we have a common factor of x plus two between the numerator and denominator, and x plus two results in a zero of x equals negative two, which means the discontinuity at x equals negative two is removable discontinuity. This means we have a hole in the graph at x equals negative two. Let's go ahead and record this. Non-removable discontinuity occurs at the zeros of the denominator that are not also zeros of the numerator, meaning the factor that gives us a zero in the denominator is not a factor that's also in the numerator. So notice here x minus two is a factor in the denominator that gives a zero of x equals two, and because x minus two is also not a zero of the numerator, or we don't have a factor of x minus two in the numerator, the discontinuity at x equals two is non-removable. Now there are two types of non-removable discontinuities. There is jump discontinuity that results in a vertical break in the graph, and there is infinite discontinuity that results in a vertical asymptote. And because we have a rational function, the non-removable discontinuity can also be classified more specifically as infinite discontinuity. So I'll also list that. And now let's take a look at the graph of g of x to verify these results. So again, we found Removable discontinuity at x equals negative two. Notice how the graph has a hole at x equals negative two. From a calculus standpoint, when we have removable discontinuity, the limit in this case of g of x as x approaches negative two exists. So notice how as we approach x equals negative two, from the left and from the right, we are approaching the function value of positive two, and therefore the limit equals positive two, even though we know the function is undefined at x equals negative two. Next, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals two. This is non-removable discontinuity, or more specifically, because we have a vertical asymptote, we can classify this as infinite discontinuity. From a calculus standpoint, when we have infinite discontinuity, the one set of limits equal positive or negative infinity. So notice as we approach x equals two from the left, the function values approach positive infinity, and as we approach x equals two from the right, the function values approach negative infinity, resulting in a vertical asymptote. I hope you found this helpful.